So really quick, I'm not going, this is what clinical and medical groups say that you have to do when you monitor blood um, testosterone replacement, um, you know, the DRE, digital rectal exam for prostate every, I'm not gonna go through all this as you can tell, it's just to let you know, they're one, two, three, four. They don't agree on everything. They, are, they don't even agree on when to measure testosterone levels. Uh, they kind of agree on when to measure hematocrit, which is a proportion of, um, oh, there's a misspelling there too, sorry. There's a proportion of uh, red blood cells um, in the blood. They kind of agree on that every three to six months. Bone mineral density, most doctors don't check that unless you're old and you're having uh, fracture issues. Lipids, only one measures lipids, um, which is, you know, at week six to 12. But most doctors I know in the field, in the cash clinics and even insurance are more aggressive than this, than what guidelines uh, suggest. They do follow up, they do a baseline, then follow up at week eight, then another one at week either 12 or 16, six months, and then once a year if you're stable and your dose is, is, is optimized. And initial blood tests, you know, total free and testosterone, PSA, LH, FSH, lipids, um, C and P, CBC, uh, sensitive estradiol, by the way, that's something I'm gonna speak about next time. And then the estradiol test have, has to be done using the sensitive test. And um, if you have a very low testosterone at baseline, you should check your prolactin, or you could do prolactin right away if you wanna spend more money doing that. Uh, you can get a blood test done at discountlabs.com. Uh, doctors can also sign up to 4pmd.com if they want to um, join a, a group of doctors and get a discounted price for their patients. <clears throat> so uh, as I said, six weeks to eight weeks of follow-up, believe it or not, there are doctors that don't do follow-ups, six months follow-ups, and then annually, uh, if the patient is, is, is uh, stable and and another very important slide that I will not go into details, I'll do this uh, next time for the side effect management, but every single variable on the left-hand side can be managed in doing different ways. So you can either choose to pause uh, the video when I send it out to, to review this, or wait for the next lecture, which will be really in detail about every single one of these factors and how to monitor and, and um, stay on top of it. My 10 uh, TRT commandments, uh, have reasonable expectations, uh, do not fall prey to testosterone booster scams, do not obsess about estradiol without testing it and testing it with the right test. I'll speak about what that means in the next one. Monitor your hematocrit because really uh, red blood cells in increases are the number one uh, side effect and that can increase blood pressure and headaches and cardiovascular risks. Uh, ex explore easier ways to inject, like subcutaneous or shallow IM. Uh, six, never cycle testosterone on and off. Uh, there's no such a thing as cycling testosterone replacement. You'll actually do more harm than good because when you get off, you'll, you'll have low testosterone for a few weeks. Uh, you cannot change what you don't measure, so monitor your blood tests. Um, I know your trends, use uh, my health graphs and the TRT analyzer app. Do not change more than one variable at a time. You will lose track of what works and what doesn't. That's something I see all the time, guys going crazy on what works and they change so many variables, they don't really know at the end what happened. Uh, protect your fertility and testicles and upstream hormones with the use of HCG. I'll be speaking about that too later on the next lecture. And don't stay behind, there's a lot of information coming through um, that if you don't um, stay on top of it, if you trust your doctor to keep you up, up to speed, um, then you know you you will you will have some problems if your doctor. Obviously, this is a lot of information at this point of the lecture, but I will speak about it uh, in the next lecture on the different steps of doctors, and this is more for doctors, since uh, the lectures uh, that we create at Clinic Optimizers is to train new doctors on how to follow. Uh, patients. Uh, we have uh, process charts like this one I created for the intake process, different factors that need to, and laboratory testing that needs to be performed when you walk in, then the first uh, visit, the general algorithm, uh, four weeks later and eight weeks later. 
and um, also a general um, flow chart um, depending on different issues that may pop up um, throughout the, the process. There are different, and we are almost at the end, guys, so I appreciate your hanging on. Um, I've only lost one of you, so thank you. <laughs> uh, junctive therapies, therapies that doctors prescribe with testosterone, uh, as I said, on natural soul and others, HCG. Many doctors are starting to prescribe IV or injectable um, vitamins and nutrients, uh, growth hormone releasing hormones, uh, oral or injectables. Uh, ED drugs, obviously, Silas, Viagra, all that, that can be also obtained cheaply from um, compounding pharmacies. Oxandrolone and Nandrolone, there are actually two anabolic steroids approved in, in the United States for different conditions. Um, metformin, which is um, an anti-diabetic drug that is becoming more popular due to potential uh, life extension qual uh, benefits and also even weight loss and blood pressure uh, medications, among others. And this is it. This is the last one, uh, believe it or not. Um, TRT resources, my site, obviously. PeakTestosterone.com is another site that is great. I forgot to really uh, mentioned I was uh, supposed to dedicate this presentation to my good friend uh, Court Meyer, who founded peaktestosterone.com much before I founded excelmail.com. He unfortunately died of a, in a car accident um, three months ago. He was a very close friend and he was a pioneer. He created a lot of the information we rely on right now um, 10 years ago. A very good guy. He was even, um, people didn't know even his real name. He's known as uh, Lee Meyer online. He has a book on Amazon, uh, Natural Versus Testosterone uh, Treatment. So Google it because it's a very good book. You can obviously get my book for free, as I said, from the first link I provided, The Testosterone Man's Guy. And his book, Lee Meyer's book, Natural Versus Testosterone Therapy, fake. It's like 300 pages, but the guy really goes into details with uh, questions from that he collected throughout the years. Um, for physicians, they can join a lab um, group, <clears throat> this kind of labs, uh, to get your own blood tests, my um, health uh, graphs, as I said before, and TRT analyzer. And power pharmacy obviously have uh, strong biases for them since they're in Houston and, and um, my, my best friend, my best friend's own son, and they have great quality and um, they are 503B FDA inspected um, and regulated company that uh, spend a lot of money uh, qualifying for the new requirements. So um, that's it, that really is. I appreciate uh, you guys hanging on. I went, uh, even though I tried to go fast, uh, as you can tell, even a basic, basic part one um, lecture on testosterone is a long one. So I do appreciate everybody's patience. The next webinar will be about management of potential side effects and risks of testosterone therapy. I'll be sending out um, an email. Uh, if you register for this webinar today, you will be getting an alert uh, when the next one is, is, um, is up. So thanks a lot. Um, not gonna take questions. You can uh, obviously ask questions on excelmail.com. Um, I show you all the folders depending on the question. You can uh, even mention my name if you want me to answer the question since I have uh, they're easily airing, easily 25 guys that are super, super smart there, plus at least five doctors too. Uh, so if you have, I'll be posting this video on YouTube and I'll be posting also um, the video on excelmail.com. So you can also uh, post your question right below the video uh, posting. Um, so very, uh, thank you very much. Appreciate your patience, as I said, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.